Welcome to another video. The first time I saw this integral, it took me a while to figure out how to do this because I usually would jump to try u substitution. But every time I have a rational expression, if I take the derivative of what I would take as my u, I'm supposed to get that derivative on top. But remember that every time you differentiate anything that has e to the x, the exponential function, it will always reappear in the derivative. But there was nothing on top here that could save me. So I really didn't know what to do. And my first u that I did the substitution for was a bit complicated. So I narrowed it down to, okay, let me just make e to the x my u. What I noticed was that I got something that required the use of integration by um, partial fraction decomposition. I eventually got the answer, but I was just wondering if there was another way. And then I found another way, which just has to do with manipulation. That's what we do. Let's get into the video. So this is how I solved it. What I realized was that if e to the x is here, why don't I try to factor it out and see what happens? Because there's going to be an e outside and I can move that e up by just flipping it. So what I did, I said, um, let this be equal to the integral of 1 over so I factored out e to the x, which means I divided each of these by e to the x. And what did I get? I got, this is going to be 1 over e to the x. Let me just write it this way. Plus e to the x divided by e to the x. That's just 1. And this is the same thing as... I can move this e to the x up here so that it becomes e to the minus x over e to the minus x plus 1 dx. Because now I am guaranteed that if I make this my u, when I take the derivative of this, e to the minus x will still appear, and I can have it and do my integration. So what I'm going to say here is let e to the minus x plus 1 be equal to u. And I can take the derivative of both sides. So I have u equals e to the minus x plus 1, so that du will be equal to, if I differentiate this, it's going to be minus e to the minus x. Well, this becomes 0, and I'm going to have dx. And remember, the purpose of u substitution is to replace dx with du, and replace whatever expression you have with u. So it means that this integral, therefore, the integral e to the minus x over e to the x plus 1 dx will become the integral. I'm going to write under e to the minus x plus 1 is my u, so there's u here. And what's supposed to be on top is e to the minus x dx. But e to the minus x dx is basically minus du, so I can multiply both sides by du so that this minus comes here. So I'm replacing e to the minus x dx with minus du. And that's it. So this is equal to, or maybe I should write it here. This is now equal to, I bring out my minus, minus integral of 1 over u du. And that's minus the natural log of u plus c. That's it. Okay, what did we say u was? u is um, e to the minus x plus 1. But I know that this can never be negative. And a number that's never negative plus 1 is always positive. So I don't need the absolute value function. So this is minus the natural log of e to the minus x plus 1 plus c. Ah, oh, this is the answer I would write. 
but we can make it better. You know, this minus one can go up here. So that, let me write it here. This is now equal to the natural log of e to the minus x plus one raised to power minus one. And you know what? This expression, when you simplify it, is the same thing as the natural log of e to the x over e to the x plus one. It's always positive. I forgot to put plus c here, plus c. Okay, this is the answer I like to write. Beautiful. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.